Great. How is everyone doing? I hope well. This is Mrs. Daddario back with you to review and go over our subtraction with regrouping or without regrouping sometimes, not every time. So I'm going to start with two digit and then gradually work up to three digit next week. So on my screen you'll see two separate problems and you'll see I've already divided them up by their tens and ones place because hopefully you've watched the place value house video, you reviewed, you remember the importance of the place value. And I also want to show you quickly <clears throat> before we solve these problems is to remember the rules about regrouping. So, sorry, my cat was playing with a ball. So on my screen, I have when to regroup, question mark. And here's our famous poem or sayings that we say. If there's more on top, no need to stop. Just like this example. The next one, and we say more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Or numbers the same, zeros the game. So hopefully we didn't forget those rules. And hopefully you can remember those rules when we are practicing our two-digit subtraction. So going back to my problems here, I'm going to start here on the left and I'm going to look at, let me get my pen up here. All right. So I'm going to start in the ones place, just like with our addition, we're always starting in the ones place. So I'm going to go back to my rules and think to myself, and I'm always going to ask myself when it's subtraction, minus, I'm going to say more on top or more on the floor. I'm always going to ask myself those questions. Just because when we're doing subtraction, we always need to have the bigger number on the top. So here I have eight and a two. So is that more on top or more on the floor? It's more on top. So I can just do my subtraction. I can do eight counting back two. So if I have eight in my head, counting back two, seven, six, if I have a number line or something to use at home, I can count, start on eight and jump back to one, two, and I land on six. So my answer is six in the ones, and I go to my tens, and I subtract five minus three. So I have five, take away three, I have two left. So my answer is 26. So this problem here, I didn't have to regroup at all. I just did as is. Let's go over onto this side here. So again, I have my tens and my ones place and I'm gonna start in my ones place. I'm gonna to say to myself, what am I gonna say? More on top or more on the floor? Now look here carefully, I have a three and then a six. So definitely the six is more. So is that more on top or more on the floor? And I would say more on the floor. So now what do I have to do? I have to go next door and get 10 more. What does that mean? That means that I'm going to cross off my six and I'm gonna take a 10 away. Because remember the six is in the tens place. So if I take one from six, I have five left. I'm not done, I need to do something with that 10 that I just took. So I took that 10 and I'm gonna bring it over here to my three and I'm gonna make it 13. So I put it in front to make it 13. You could also cross off the number completely and just write 13 over here on the side or above it, whichever is your way you like to do it best. And also I forgot to mention, in, beginning of my video, make sure you have paper, something to write with, because you should be doing this with me. And when I assign the practice links, you should definitely have paper and something to write with. You can't solve these problems without showing your work. So I have 13, take away six. So if I start at 13, I could count back six. I could draw 13 circles, cross off six. I could use a number line and I could start at 13 and jump back six. So I would say start one, two, three, four, five, six, and I land on seven. So my answer in the ones place is seven. Now I go to my tens place and subtract five, and then I can take two away. One, two, 
I have three left. So my answer is 37. So here on this side, we had a problem without regrouping. And on this side, we had to show regrouping. That was just a quick refresher. Let's go practice a couple more problems. On, not there, this page here. Give me one second. Here's our rule poster. So on this page, I have a couple problems we can practice together. So hopefully you have something to write with in a piece of paper. If not, pause, go grab, get something. It can be anything to write down some problems and practice. So we'll go through, I'm gonna put a box and we'll do these three problems, all right? So we'll do this first one together. Then I want you to try this problem and this problem and I'll go over them quickly. So when I say go ahead and work on this problem, I want you to pause the tape, figure it out, solve it, and then come back on to see if you are correct. So I'm going to always draw my line down to separate my place values. Just that helps me with my organization, remembering that I have the tens place and the ones place. I know that I always need to start in the ones place. Then I think to myself, so with subtraction, it's a little more trickier because there's more things that you have to remember. You have to remember the ones place, just like addition, but you now have to remember the rules. You have to ask yourself more on top or more on the floor <clears throat> and what you do with those rules. So more on top or more on the floor. I see there's more on the floor, so I go next door and I'm going to get 10 more. So I'm gonna cross off my six if I get 10 more, I take one away, so I have five left. Now I'm not done, I need to remember to take that 10 that I took and bring it over here to my four. So I'm gonna cross off my four and then make it 14. Then I can subtract 14 minus six because 14 is a bigger number, I can take six away. So again, if I have to draw circles, please do. I, I'm going to use my number line and I'm going to jump back. So I start at 14 and I jump back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And eight is my answer. So I'll put eight and then I go to the tens place, five, take away three, one, two, three. I have two left. My answer is 28. So go ahead and write this problem down. <clears throat> I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this one on your own. Again, this is review, so we should be able to do this um, since we we've done this at school. All right, so hopefully you solved the problem. So now we're back. I drew my line down my center. I know that I need to start in my ones place and I know I need to say to myself more on top or more on the floor. I see there's more on the floor, so I need to go next door. So I cross off my nine, taking one away, I get one more 10, so take one away, now I have eight left. Take that 10 that I just took from next door and I'm gonna put it with my one to make 11 because 10 plus one is 11. Now I can subtract 11 minus two. So I start at 11, jump back two, one, two. Nine is my answer. And then I go to my tens place and I subtract eight, take away two. So if I have eight fingers, take two away, I have six left. So my answer is 69. All right, again, go ahead, pause the video, try this problem, 86 minus 27. Solve it and then come hit play and then check your answer. All right, so I hope that you again solve this on your own. I drew my line to separate my tens and my ones place. I start in my ones place. What do I ask myself? More on top, more on the floor. I see again, I have more on the floor, so I need to go next door. I take a 10 from eight. If I take one from eight, I have seven left. Take that 10 add it to this six. Now I have 16 and I can subtract, <clears throat> excuse me, six 